Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's have a look at some hue saturation curves in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. First up, if you have Creative Cloud, just update to the latest version of Premiere Pro and you'll have these features. Anything before that won't have these features. There are curves already in uh, Premiere Pro in the Illumetri color panel. Hue saturation curves are working by selecting either hue or saturation and then affecting them. Very easy to use. Let's have a look. So I've already applied it to these clips and obviously you won't know what I've changed. I mean, maybe that one's obvious. but I'll come back and show you each one of these when we're done. Okay, let's go to this first one here. And I'll go to my color workspace. That brings up my Lumetri color panel on the right-hand side. And with this clip selected, in curves, you'll see hue saturation curves. And when I open that up, you'll see a number of curves. Hue versus sat. Hue versus Hue, Hue versus Luma, hue, Luma versus Sat, Sat versus Sat. So there's five of them. So Hue, Saturation, and Luma. Let's just qualify what that. Hue is the color. So if you're looking at a color wheel and you're spinning around the outside of the wheel, each one of those is a different hue. Saturation is the saturation value of that color. How much of that color or colors are being affected. And Luma is short for luminosity, which is the underlying black and white part of every single clip. It always has a Luma. So the first example here, you'll notice um, I'm pulling down the yellow. And if I turn this off temporarily, you'll see the flowers pop. And what I'm using this for is to isolate something that's too saturated, maybe it's beyond broadcast colors, or maybe it's just distracting from our main subject here. Here, everything is bold, but here it's mostly the cello in the front. So let me get rid of these. I'll double click on them to get rid of them and show you how we can use them. Well, you can just click and drag, and this is going to affect the whole thing, but it's much more powerful if we select a certain group of colors. If we grab the eyedropper and click on a color, so let's click on the cello this time, and you can see the color is this red. This is an incredibly innovative feature only found in Premiere Pro. That's the ability to recenter where this is. If you're using hue sat curves in other programs, you'll know that the spectrum of color that goes to red, red is always on the outside. And if we're selecting red as we're selecting here, you need three points, a middle point that you're moving and two anchor points. But if those points are, are separated on both sides, it becomes a real pain. So what Adobe does is they allow you to, to recenter anywhere on that spectrum. So now you can see the red is in the middle. If you add the shift key while you're dragging this, then you'll drag just in that specific direction. And you'll see an indicator. You'll notice the top level is more saturated and the bottom level is less saturated. So I'm choosing a hue and I'm desaturating that hue. Now you'll notice that some of the back is also within that same value, but um, you, you would have to mask this out if you only wanted it in one area. If you want a larger area, you can move this over and capture a larger area, more of a, a larger bell curve. Now I'm going to be desaturating or saturating in a larger curve. If you want, you can add more, you can add more points to this and drag that whole thing out and saturate or desaturate. You can also grab a different um, point in here. So now I'm grabbing the green and I can pop the green up or the greenish yellow if, if I want and drag that and drop that up. So that's hue versus sat. Very powerful. All right, let's go to the next one. And you're right if you think that these fields are not pink. So let's turn this 
off. So this is hue versus hue. So I'm picking a hue, which is the green, and I'm changing that hue. So if I click on this now, you'll see it, it's not one color, it's the full spectrum of colors going from magenta all the way to the indigo on the other side and how much you want to change that. So if you just wanted to affect that a little bit, maybe make it a little bit brown, you could do that. And, and the same thing, I'll double click on this, click on the eyedropper, click in here, and now I'm affecting that. So very simple, very powerful, and I could do several of these so I could click on her dress and that's over here. I'm going to recenter this, just like I said before. And now I can change the color of her dress. And we can open that up a little bit more. So I could do that separately on a different curve or do the, oh, you can see I'm getting a bit of the skin tone in there too. There's a little bit pinkish, but I think you get the idea. Let's keep going here. This next one is Hue versus Luma. And all I'm doing here is I'm using this to brighten up his face. I'll turn it off and you can see how much darker his face is. And when I turn that on, I lighten that up. So I just clicked again in that area. I'll hold my shift key again and turn this on. Now Hue versus Luma, luminosity, you can see it gets brighter at the top. It gets darker at the bottom. So you can easily see what you're doing with this particular color. All right, let's move on to the next one. Uh, Luma versus Sat. So pick a luminosity and saturate either more or less. And if I turn this off, you'll see the sky get very dull. So what I'm using this for is to make that blue in the sky more saturated. And you'll notice that you don't get indicators in here and, and uh, Adobe feels you don't need it for these specific ones. So let me reselect this. So I'll get the eyedropper, click in the blue, it selects the blue and I'm going to saturate that more. Okay, so that's Luma versus Sat. And there, I've got two examples here of Sat versus Sat. So this first one is selecting a saturation range and affecting its saturation. So choose the saturation of something and then affect the saturation. So you can see I'm affecting the whole saturation of that level there. And you will you can see that over here in the scope. The chroma and the luma are different. The chroma is the saturation amount. And that's that light bluish ghosted piece in the back. You can see how much of that is going on here. And if we reset that, and now as I drag that down, you'll see the scope start to change. Now another example here is, let me turn this on and off. You'll see the blue is being desaturated. So again, this is saturation value versus the saturation value. So I'll deselect this, grab the blue, and now I can desaturate the blue. I couldn't really find a good example um, of this, but if this blue had two different saturation values in the same clip, so maybe something in the distance was not as saturated as something closer up, this could affect the more saturated blue and not the uh, non-saturated blue in the back. And a lot of keys will select all the blue, um, from the blue in the back to the blue in the front. So you can use it for that, or you can use this to keep within a broadcast safe saturation area. So there you go, there's new uh, HueSat curves in uh, Premiere Pro CC, it's the latest version. Um, they're in the Lumetri color panel, you can use them on your clips, you can use them and then mask them, you can duplicate as many of these layers as you want. All right, if you're new to video, oh, by the way, all the videos in this were provided by Adobe Stock, the premier supplier of stock images, video, uh, illustrations, motion graphics, and 3D objects. Find the perfect asset for your next creative project. I sure did. It was fun getting it. A lot of these are very cool. Okay, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us a little more? 
you can do that through PayPal. We love our wonderful PayPal supporters. There's a link in the description on the front of the channel, donate once um, or monthly. We love our PayPal supporters. Thank you so much. And thanks to the people who are just coming out of the blue uh, recently and uh, I'm helping them. They're contacting me. I help them with a few things and all of a sudden they give me a little donation and that's really appreciated. Thank you very much. All right. Um, if you want to be notified of our weekly tutorials, you got to ring the bell below. And that's it for me. I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to get you looking your best.